Unless you're a Harry Potter fan, you probably have no idea what Quidditch is. The referee will call brooms down, so everybody puts their brooms down, kneels, and closes their eyes. And then the snitch, which is a cross-country runner dressed in gold, um, will be released and runs off while everybody's got their eyes closed. And then they call brooms up, and everybody runs towards the middle. It's obviously not your traditional sport. For instance, the players all carry brooms between their legs, and they wear capes. To look cool, <laughs> it's, you know, we're playing Quidditch, we have to wear capes. <laughs> but it does have plenty of other aspects that make it a sport. Football has all kinds of weird rules too, so it's just like it's just like that except for people have never seen it before and so I guess that's why they kind of poke fun at it. A hodgepodge, some might say, of a few different sports. There's basketball a little bit you, with the hoops, there's soccer because you get to kick the ball, there's, there's dodgeball because you have to dodge the beaters. This full contact sport involves more than you might think. It's definitely not just dorks playing Quidditch. But in the midst of all that chaos, there actually is a game here. It's very athletically demanding, so nobody can call us a bunch of Harry Potter nerds until they get out here and try it and see how difficult it actually is. Covering the news in Lexington, Nikki Burdine, LEX 18 Evening Edition.